Hello. Welcome to the Powerline Systems Concentrated Loads video. In this video, we will cover what a concentrated cable load is, the different types, how to create them, and the various ways you can add and use them. Concentrated load files, also known as marker balls, are point loads added to a wire somewhere in the span. These point loads can be concentrated to a single point, like when modeling an aerial marking sphere or vibration damper. They can also be distributed load across a portion of a span, like when modeling additional ice. This video will demonstrate both situations. To start, we'll open up one of the example files, demo2.xyz. This model is one of the examples that will ship with the software. You can find the example files on your C drive. Navigate to Sections, Concentrated Loads, Create New Concentrated Load. In the Concentrated Load Properties window, you'll see the various inputs required to create your concentrated load. Please see section N.5 of the PLSCAD User's Manual for more information on the specific inputs. For our first example, let's model a marker ball. We will use the following parameters. In the Description field, we'll input Marker Ball. We will use a stock number of M Ball. The vertical load will be 20 pounds. The marker ball diameter will be 36 inches, and we will use a drag coefficient of 1. You can change the color here. For a single colored concentrated load, use the same color for both options. When you finished, click OK and give your concentrated load file a name. To add your marker ball to the wire, navigate to Sections, Concentrated Loads, Add Concentrated Load. You'll see the indicator show up along the wires in your model. After you click to place the first marker ball, you will need to choose the appropriate marker file. As you click to add more marker balls, the program will continue to use the file you first selected. It is good to notice how the wire sag changes with each marker ball you add. When you're done, you can hit Escape on your keyboard or right-click with your mouse to exit the command. If you decide to move a marker ball, navigate to Sections, Concentrated Loads, Move Concentrated Load. This command is a click and release command, meaning you do not click and hold to move the concentrated load. Click your mouse to select which concentrated load to move and release. Now you can move your cursor over the wire and your marker ball will follow. You can move your marker ball to a new wire, a new span, or even a new section. Once you've located where you want the concentrated load to be placed, click again to set the position, and right-click or hit the Escape key to exit the command. Other commands in the Sections Concentrated Loads menu include Copying, and delete. With your snap settings adjusted to include marker balls, you can also use the Entity menu to access the same menu options as shown above. You can move, 
copy and paste. And you can delete the concentrated loads. You can also edit and place concentrated cable loads using a table edit. Navigate to Sections, Modify, and click the Edit Span Specific Wire Lengths, Concentrated Loads, Attachment Stiffnesses, Surveyed Temperatures option. The light blue columns are used to define the optional concentrated loads. You can place the concentrated loads at the span fraction location and use the next column to indicate which marker file this applies to. Note the number indicator at the top of the column to see which location corresponds with which concentrated load file. For our second example, we will look at another aspect of the concentrated loads, the partial span icing. If we edit this concentrated load, we can input parameters for the partial span icing. First, we will create a blank concentrated load file to be used later in this example. Next, we will create a partial span icing concentrated load file. We'll add an additional ice thickness of 1 inch. When we place the partial span icing concentrated load on the wire, the additional ice thickness begins at the location of placement and continues throughout the rest of the span. If we only wanted the partial span icing on the back half of the span, we would place our concentrated load file here. If we only want the partial span icing on the front half of the span, we can place the concentrated cable load here and add the blank concentrated load where we want the partial span icing to stop. The partial span icing will be applied to the entire span without the blank concentrated load added. The final concentrated load file feature in this video is the automatic placement feature. Powerline Systems has given you the concentrated load automatic placement feature as a means of placing marker balls per the FAA or other regulatory guidelines and requirements. To use the concentrated load automatic placement feature, navigate to Sections, Concentrated Loads, Concentrated Loads Automatic Placement. Designate the height above ground and weather conditions to be used in placing the concentrated load, as well as the range of structures or the voltage to apply. Select up to three concentrated load files and specify your spacing requirements. Click OK and watch as the program automatically places your concentrated loads. See Appendix N.5 of the PLSCAD User's Manual for more information on the use of the Concentrated Load Automatic Placement feature. If you would like more information about our software, please see our website at www.powerlinesystems.com or contact us at info at powerlinesystems.com. To receive a quote for purchase or renewal of your license, please contact sales at PowerlineSystems.com, and for any technical inquiries, please contact support at PowerlineSystems.com. Thank you for watching and for your interest in our software, the industry standard and overhead line design.